Did you know there was an app that made it possible for you to order food, Uber, shop online, chat with friends and even pay for stuff online? Well, welcome back to my channel where we discuss the newest technological advancements and how they affect our daily life. Today we are going to discuss Super Apps, a brand new concept that has been causing a stir in the tech community. Before we go straight into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more amazing content. Let's go! What exactly are super apps? Super apps are all-in-one multifunctional mobile programs that provide a variety of services including social networking, e-commerce, payment options, travel, food delivery and more. A super app is essentially a one-stop shop for developing mobile applications. It handles every requirement a user can have in a single location. This lessens the requirement to download several programs to carry out various tasks. In 2010, Mike Lazaridis this coined the phrase. The super app was his idea of the idea answer as a creator of BlackBerry. With the use of internal technology and third-party connectors, it was envisioned as a marketplace with a variety of offerings. Super apps offer a wide range of features including social networking, shopping, banking and more. Above all, developers keep the app's user in mind when creating it. They want to give users a seamless, integrated experience that enables them to use several services from a single app. Super apps are an Asian invention that has had enormous popularity in nations like China, Indonesia and India. WeChat, which has more than 1 billion active users, is the top super app in China. Gojek is a well-known super app in Indonesia that offers everything from food delivery and ride hailing to bill paying and doctor consultations. Other popular examples in Asia of super apps are Grab in Southeast Asia and Paytm in India. All of these great applications have had tremendous growth in recent years in terms of performance and have risen to the top in their respective nations. For instance, Grab has grown to include several Southeast Asian nations and is valued at over $35 billion. WeChat, which has over 1 billion monthly active users, is frequently referred to as the everything app and has become an essential part of daily life for many people in China. Outside of Asia, there are few examples of super apps, however, some are Mercado Libre in Latin America and Glovo in Europe. Mercado Libre is one of the biggest e-commerce platforms in Latin America and Glovo is well known for food delivery and courier service in Europe. These are examples of super apps regional success. Let's now explore a few advantages of super apps. The first is convenience. Users of super apps can access many services from a single app, doing away with the need to switch between various apps to carry out various operations. This way users lives have become much more convenient as a result of the time and effort savings. The second benefit is that super apps are made to retain users attention for longer. Users are likely to spend more time on the app if it has a wide selection of services and features which will increase engagement and loyalty. Third, super apps can make money from numerous sources because they provide a wide range of services. They have a very successful business strategy which enables them to spend money on new products and services and increase revenue. And finally, super Super apps can offer effective customer care because they offer a variety of services under one roof. This is so they can enhance the user experience as they have access to a multitude of user data. So you might be asking yourselves the question, is the super app disrupting various industries? The answer is yes. Super apps are fully functional mobile platforms that provide a variety of services. By providing customers with convenient and seamless experiences throughout a single app, they are appending numerous sectors. Super apps in e-commerce like Alibaba's AliExpress and Grab in Southeast Asia have developed into one-stop online shopping destinations by enabling customers to make purchases, track deliveries and manage returns all from the same app. For established e-commerce businesses, this has increased competitiveness. Users can access financial services like mobile payments, loans, insurance and wealth management through super apps like WeChat in China and Gojek in Indonesia. Consumers now have easier access to financial services via their cell phones thanks to this disruption of established financial services firms. Super apps for transportation like Grab and Gojek provide on-demand services like food delivery in addition to ride-hailing and other on-demand services. Due to this, 
customers may now more easily contact traditional cap and delivery service via their mobile phones. Overall, by providing simplicity, integration and seamless experiences, super applications are revolutionizing how individuals access and utilize numerous services. Just like the disruption of various industries by one super app, the traditional market has been greatly hit. The first one is market consolidation. Super apps have reduced the number of independent businesses operating in these areas by combining multiple industries like e-commerce, food delivery, banking onto one platform. They've also increased the competition. Super applications have introduced a fresh competition for established companies that provide comparable services. These companies must now contend with the accessibility and reach of mega applications. The super apps have also revolutionized how customers connect with companies thanks to their simplicity and convenience. Instead of utilizing several apps for each service, consumers are now more inclined to use one single platform for multiple services. Super applications have also gathered a ton of user information, which they may utilize a lot to provide personalized services and boost the effectiveness of their platform. The traditional market has been significantly impacted by super applications, which has resulted in industry consolidation, heightened compactness, modifications to consumer behavior and enhanced data collection. This kind of applications can provide consumers with a large range of services, but internet regulators in places like the United States and Europe are becoming concerned about the overall dominance of the technology industry and are being tough on corporations that create such apps. Local officials in China have ordered WeChat and other local businesses to make their platforms available to competitors. Additionally, some publications claim that replacing WeChat super app concept would be challenging. This is particularly due to the global smartphone adoption rates reaching their pinnacle which has resulted in overcrowded app stores and more stringent regulations on targeted advertising as authorities exercise greater control over the businesses. Technically speaking, compared to super apps, single purpose apps are quicker, more responsive and simpler to operate which enhances the user experience overall. Super apps are also more likely to keep larger volumes of user data to the platform in order to perform their services, which puts users at higher risk of suffering serious data breaches. This happened with Tokopedia in 2020, when hackers stole and shared the data of 91 million members. A user who loses access to their account or is banned from a super app typically loses access to numerous offline and online services. Due to its widespread use in the Korean economy, the super app Kakao Talk from South Korea experienced an outage for a few days in October 2022 as a result of a fire in a data center. Now let's talk about how super apps will change the future. The use of super apps is expanding everywhere. Users and investors alike are drawn to multi-purpose platform use. The flexibility and ease of service helps users in addition to improving value propositions for investors. Super apps will accelerate the transition to mobile first experiences even more. Users are expected to rely more on their mobile devices if a variety of services are offered within a single app, which will raise the focus on mobile app development. As mentioned earlier, super apps will append established industries by providing comparable services more affordably and conveniently. Traditional sectors including retail, transportation and financial services will experience change as a result of this. New business models will be created. This new kind of applications will develop new business models that will enable businesses to make more money in several different ways. For instance, delivery services can be provided by e-commerce businesses and by ride-hailing businesses. Super apps will also enable to tailor the user experience and provide pertinent services and recommendations thanks to the access to a variety of user data. As a result, customers will have a better overall experience and be more satisfied. And finally, because of all of this, this will open new avenues for creativity as businesses work to distinguish themselves in a crowded market by developing new features and services. As a result, this will spur the creation of new technologies and technical developments. Super applications appear to be the way of the future. It appears that high quality, versatile apps are just around the corner as app development technology advances. And it's only logical. The primary difficulty is, as always, figuring out 
how to create a great app that will benefit users without becoming overbearing. But this problem keeps getting solved every year. Well folks, that's all for today. What do you think of these super apps? Tell me in the comment section below and for more video like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye!